It's hey a... everybody, Stefan here with the Milford Station. It's Monday night, and uh, that means it's auction night. Uh, we got our auction stuff that we got last week. We picked it up on Saturday, and we're going to go through it right now and uh, show you what we got. And uh, we, we buy these things online, and uh, we resell on eBay and Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, this auction that we, particular auction that we go on is mostly clothing and some knickknacks and toys and all that, but uh, it, it's been a good good seller for us. There's lots of options and lots of uh, lots of brands that we don't normally get here, so I think they bring them in from the States somewhere, but anyways, with that, any, any, without any further ado, let's get going. This here looks like some toy, but it's a Build-A-Bear. Oh, Oliver, you can't have this guy. This one's for resale. You already got a million. Okay, so yeah, build a bear. Um, I don't normally pick them up anymore because they go about 15 bucks a pop. And uh, but if they have the clothing, and this one came with a whole bag of uh, accessories and shoes, and <laughs> clothing and all that. This I'll probably get more for this than I will the bear. So it's uh, if you ever see them in a thrift store and they got clothing on them, pick them up. The clothing's worth more than the bear and actually sells faster too. Put that over here so that the dogs won't get to it because they automatically think it think it's theirs. All right, this next thing here is uh, ever, anybody here remember these guys? Oh, that's my uh, imitation of a uh, mon chichi. They were um, toys that were when I was 11 or 12 years old. They were on TV. Uh, they're vintage monkeys of some sort. Kind of freaky looking, but anyways, they're. Um, I paid a couple bucks for these, uh, five or six bucks, but I can sell them for about twenty-five bucks a pop, each of them. So good buy right there. If you see Mo Shishi, pick them up. They're vintage and sought after. All right. I always say it's like Christmas, opening these things up. All right, this is obviously something new with tags from Sears. Um, Arnold Palmer golf attire of some sort, like a golf sweater. I guess this is something you would wear at the clubhouse after uh, your round. Um, great shape. Don't see any defects, but it's new with tags. Uh, and the tag on it says $59.99. Probably won't get that much, but uh, I'll easy, get an easy $25 to $30 for this. Okay, this is a pair of uh, new tags again. $49.99 for this one, and I don't even know the make of it, but uh, they're um, like cargo pants, kind of light. And the brand is YFB, made in China. Oh, maybe this will tell me right here. Nope. I don't really know the brand, but I'll figure it out. They look like fairly decent quality, but YFB, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Put it in the comments. Never heard of them, but uh, kind of neat looking pants. I'll say 25, could be more, could be less. Pair of jeans, uh, guest jeans, ladies, Brittany Skinny, and they look fairly old. I think that's the old tag on them. And they got a nice little design on the pocket. So they got a bit of blame to them. They're skinny jeans, um, fairly small size ladies. Good shape, these always go well. 20, 25 bucks. Another monkey. And this is another Build-A-Bear. Um, I pick him up. I picked him up because he's a monkey, and because uh, it's not the bear and the standard bear. These uh, tend to do a little bit better, like the oddball animals. And it has a cute little T-shirt goes with it. Oh, excuse me, that's not yours. All right. Okie dokie. What do we got here? 
This is an original Nicole Miller. Looks like a sweater, a zip zip up sweater, ladies, wool, size medium. It's got some weight to it. I'd say that's a good quality jacket. It's in good shape. There's no holes or stains that I can see. Uh, I'll do a big inspection before I list it and when I take the pictures and all that. But Nicole Miller's a good brand. Uh, it's like it's pretty good sell through rate too. So. I think I paid like two bucks for that. Pair of jeans. These are wallflower jeans. Uh, they kind of remind me of silver, but uh, I know they're not. But uh, they're boot cut jeans. Uh, they got all the fancy threading on it. Ladies, curvy. Nice pair of jeans. I've sold wallflower before. It's 25, 30 bucks. What is this? This is a doll. Creepy. I'm awake. I'm asleep. I'm awake. I'm asleep. Yeah, those things scare me, man. Um, I think this is an American girl or... I, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up, but uh, these dolls do well anyways. Um, don't know how much I'm gonna get. I'll have to look it up. Look at the brand. Look how crazy she looks. Ah, okay. Right. Her jeans. Buffalo by David Bitten. I always pick those up. Uh, they're good jeans, and some sometimes they fit me. I, I like them. And they are size. Wish I wasn't blind. Uh, size 14 or ladies. But uh, yeah, stretchy. Nice pair of jeans. Boom. 25 bucks. Uh, new with tag Nautica. What does the tag say? Price wise, $69.50 for this polo shirt. Extra large, kind of a pastel-y peach pink color. What color is that, Keisha? Salmon. Please. Salmon? That yes. sounds fancy. All right, salmon it is. All right, pair of footwear. These are Merrell's. Merrells always do well. They don't stay on the shelf too long when I list them. It's got the, they got the Vibram sole. They're fairly heavy. They're uh, heavy duty hiking shoes. They last forever. And uh, they usually, like I said, they, they, if, you, if I list them at the, at the right price, they'll, they'll sell like within a week. So 30 bucks. Somebody's making a damage back there. What are you doing, Oliver? That's no good. All right. This is a Marriott hoodie. Pretty decent uh, hoodie. I think they, they go for 25, 30 bucks. And I paid I don't know, no more than $5 for this. Looks like a extra large or even bigger, or double extra large, or whatever, but extra large. Yeah, nice hoodie. 20 bucks, 25. And this is uh, another Marriott hoodie. This one's kind of an olive army green. Um, good shape, same size, probably the same person. Um, oh, sorry, not Marriott. Did I say Marriott earlier? Marmot. Yeah, Marmot. Like I said, I, I am blind. But I should know these brands. I sold Marmot before. Let's go make sure. Yeah, Marmot. So it's another 25, 30 bucks right there. And this is got some weight to it. Oh, that's nice. 
This is a zip up hoodie jacket. Right, but it's a extra large US Polo Association since 1990. Um, really nice, really soft inside. Might keep that one. That's my size too. Perfect for these cold nights that are coming out. Big giant pockets in the front. Perfect. I don't know, I might sell it, I might keep it. I don't know, I'll have to look at the, the comps and see how much this goes for. I have a million jackets I don't need anymore. But cool. Polo's a good brand, depending on the article or the type of article it is. Uh, Oakley. Oakley's always a good brand. It's a college crowd. But uh, yeah, another hoodie. Zip up, full zip, good shape. Doesn't look like much wear on this thing. Um, apart from a little bit of cat hair or dog hair or whatever it is, but we have very good lint rollers here. So that's 25, 30 bucks right there. And this is an Adidas athletic shirt, extra large. running. I'll get 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks for this, depending on, on the shape, but it looks like it's in really good shape. Um, yep, yeah, pretty good. Probably paid a dollar or two on this. A lot of times these ones, I'll lot them up. Like I'll get a, two or three of them the same size and lot them up for 25, 30, just to make it worth everyone's while. Uh, this is a very wrinkly shirt. Regular fit. Fight for it, Oakland, Oakland something. Have to look it up, don't know the make. Oh, it's got the nice design in the back. Black and gray plaid. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. 2025. I like this, it's, um, it's always educational for me when I pick up brands that I never sold before because you get to look them up and find out the sell through and uh, and how much they go for, if they're worthwhile. And the more you do this, the more you get educated, the faster you get at uh, sourcing and thrifting and the more efficient you get because you don't pick up the stuff that's not worth your while. Um, and these are some sort of hiking pants. They are a mountain equipment company. I believe it's a Canadian company. Pretty high quality gear. Uh, those usually are pretty expensive to buy new. They'd probably be like 80 to to $100. So I'll get a, an easy 25, 30 for these. Pretty nice, nice and light. Uh, this looks like another salmon shirt. Uh, another polo shirt. This one is by uh, it's a Grand Slam golf polo, standard mall brand, but I actually like wearing these. They're uh, nice and light and uh, the color is refreshing. But yeah, just a standard golf shirt. Not the time of year for them, but you know, they do well year round really. Uh, come the springtime when golf season starts around here, like these start flying off the, the not the shells, but the bins. Boom. 10, 15 bucks for that. All right, one last bag. That was a lot of stuff last week compared to the previous few weeks. That's another hoodie. Roots, Roots is another good Canadian brand. They do well in the US as well too. Looks like a medium or small um, ladies hoodie from Roots. That's 25, 30 bucks. A pair of runners, sneakers, running shoes, New Balance, I believe. Yep, New Balance, size 6, US ladies. For ladies, 6.5 to 8.5 is usually, I try to stick around 8, 8 to 8.5 is the, the good brand. But they, they all sell, I mean, everybody's got different feet, but 
I believe the median is about between 7.5, 8.5. But they're in fantastic shape. Good thread on them. This is something colorful. It's a two for one. It came with a book. Okay, yeah, this is a, a hoodie. Very, very bright hoodie. But it uh, looks like some sort of manga or anime. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Brand unknown. I'll look it up. But uh, the anime stuff, don't sleep on that stuff. That usually goes for pretty good. Uh, we just sold a, a little plush anime doll that I picked up for $2. And we just sold it for like 60 bucks. It was uh, crazy. And it took about a few months and it went off. Yeah, that's a nice uh, hoodie. Do you know what that is, Keisha? Uh, I don't know, but I think it's a popular anime. Cool. That could be a lot of money. And it comes with a book. It reads from left to right or left, whatever, backwards. But uh, One Piece. One Piece is very popular. I think that is a One Piece uh, hoodie. Very good. These, um, I've sold a bunch of those. They usually go for 10, 15 bucks each, depending on the condition. This one's got some love. Uh, it's been loved, but uh, some people will still buy it just to read it, not as a collection, but uh, yeah. But I'd say probably eight, nine bucks for this. I'll probably throw it in with, uh, with the hoodie if they're the same, from the same uh, line. This is a root size large ladies light long sleeve shirt. Eggplant purple. Good. I said roots, very good name, good brand, good resale value, and good self through rate. This is interesting. Alright, this is a Skirt of some sort. Don't know much about skirts. But yeah, it is lined, so it's a Coco. Don't know the brand, so that'll be some education for me. Coco Aelis, Aelis, whatever. But yeah, I think I did a quick look and uh, they do sell for pretty good money. I, I paid hardly any, nothing for this. And it's in good condition and it's kind of neat. Calvin Klein jeans, size 16, boom. Blue, light blue jeans, pretty standard, good shape, no visible stains. I think they're more like capris or crops, but yeah, these will, these will go for 20. Kelly's out in the living room right now. She's resting from giving out Halloween candy. Oh yeah, happy Halloween everybody. I didn't dress up. We gave candy away. And the good thing is I bought a lot more than I needed. So we have a lot of candy left over, which is really cool. All right, this is a large Catherine Melandrino something something. Looks like some sort of wool jacket, size large. Um, really nice. I'll look that up, it's definitely Going to be selling for more than what I paid for it, which is about five bucks. Boom. And this is, oh yeah, I know what this is. I remember this from my engineering days. It's an F SKF bearing. And uh, I think the listing, it showed, a, showed it as a propeller bearing, but I think it's actually for a, a vehicle. It's a tra transmission or a drive shaft of some sort. Um, they did say it was untested, but no scratching. Yeah, I'd say this is good, but these go for a good bucks. A lot of people will buy these as spares or, um, yeah, I think I paid like five, five bucks for it because nobody knew what it was. Um, but yeah, I'll get probably 25, 30 bucks for this, easy. 
if not more. So yeah, uh, industrial equipment, car parts, all that stuff. It could be a slow sell-through rate, but you usually make good money on it. And uh, I mean, oh yeah, propeller shaft, boom, 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 boom. Transmission, yeah, support, DARB, the transmission, which translate to tree, transmission, tree, support. Well, I don't know if that makes sense or not. That's the French in me. Um, so, that. And we're almost done. A pair of Clarks. Slip-ons. Clarks does well. Really good condition. Not much wear on them at all. Uh, yep, Clark's collection. These are an easy 20, 25 bucks. Nice and light. That's it. Um, so yeah, if you like this kind of content, if this is your first time, my name is Stefan. I'm with the Milford Station. I'm one, one half of the Milford Station. My lovely wife, Kelly, is in the living room. Say hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. Okay, and Keisha's behind the, uh, the camera right now. <laughs> camera girl. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're, we do these once a week for our auction halls and then we do videos in between on what's sold and uh, just various things, uh, dog tricks, whatever. Uh, we've been posting uh, to YouTube. We're enjoying it quite a lot. And uh, if you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell and uh, join us in our adventure. That's fantastic. And uh, leave a comment. Let us know if you like these. Uh, if you like a different format, if you want us to give us suggestions on what we should do, uh, we're all we're open to suggestions for sure. Uh, was this, uh, we want this to be a community type feel for reselling. Uh, so if you got questions or you got advice, put it in the comments. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.